So Alzheimer's disease is the most common dementia in our society. Uh, and then we know that Alzheimer's disease is due in part to genetic factors uh, and family history, things like that, as well as uh, various environmental factors. Uh, now, the most common and important genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's disease is something called the APOE gene. Uh, about 10 to 20% uh, of, uh, of the general population uh, has the high-risk version of the APOE gene, and the carriers of the high-risk version of the APOE gene have as high as a 30 to 40% lifetime risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. What we wanted to, to answer was a question of whether having sound sleep, so sleeping well, might be able to protect individuals with the high-risk version of the gene from developing Alzheimer's disease. Not surprisingly, uh, what we found was that individuals who carried the high-risk version of the APOE gene were much more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease over the follow-up period and had a much higher burden of neurofibrillary tangle pathology at, uh, at autopsy. Uh, r rather remarkably, though, uh, what we found was that those individuals, even those individuals who had the high-risk version of the gene, who slept well at baseline, which is to say they didn't wake up frequently uh, and slept soundly, uh, at the beginning of the study, had a much lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease uh, and a much lower burden of neurofibrillary tangle pathology. Uh, this suggests the possibility uh, that sleeping well in individuals who otherwise would have a high risk of developing Alzheimer's disease may have a protective effect uh, against the uh, adverse effects uh, of these high-risk genes, uh, namely the APOE4 gene. I think this, this just re-emphasizes the importance of healthy sleep to healthy aging in general. Um, that this, this is just one more reason. If, if you have poor sleep, if you find yourself you know, not having a restful night or waking up a lot, to get it, get it checked out, because it may be uh, that, that that might be predisposing uh, to, uh, to the development of Alzheimer's disease.